What's going on guys, it's DOS. Welcome back to the channel. It's been six months and 9,000 miles since I got my Ram Classic brand new. So I wanted to go ahead and toss out a little update. Let's get right into the video. Quick little backstory for those of you who don't know about the Ram Classic. How could you not? Cause this body style is literally 13 years old. Anyway, Ram decided to keep making the previous generation truck, which is this alongside of the next generation truck, which came out in 2019 for a cheaper alternative. But I'm not a Chrysler fan by any stretch of anyone's imagination. I'm Ford for life, but how boring would it be to say you've owned the same brand and or type of vehicle your entire life? Anyway, my previous charger in this truck had the same MSRP. So I figured if I'm going to be paying this amount of money a month, why not get something that's way more practical? Till this day i still feel like that was a pretty wise decision piled 9,000 miles on fairly quickly since this is my only daily driver at the moment good thing that 9,000 mostly consists of freeway mileage only two engine options for this 2022 classic model year the dinosaur 5.7 liter hemi and the dinosaur 3.6 liter pentastar both engines can be found in a variety of chrysler mopar vehicles i chose the 3.6 with the eight speed automatic transmission with the two wheel drive for quite a few reasons it's the most efficient and proven powertrain for this truck and it's also to emphasize the fact that i really wasn't concerned about about the powertrain because it just simply isn't my brand. This is basically a base model classic other than a few features that I have. The chrome appearance package, which instead of giving you a black front and rear steel bumper and also the grill, that's all replaced with chrome. The electronics group technology package, which is presented and displayed inside the cab. The center control stack contains this really nice 8.4 inch touchscreen display, which contains Ram's latest Uconnect 5 system, which is really nice and crisp. Then you have another screen directly in front of you in the gauge cluster, which is nice, very helpful, and configurable displays all the information you would need throughout the truck and the factory towing package which contains a two inch receiver on the rear of the truck from the factory 32 gallon gas tank and also these really cool towing mirrors that are located on the side of the truck complete with turn signals so that way you don't have to deal with that aftermarket crap it's already there from the factory and so that's awesome if you don't know they do flip up to a, to a horizontal view so that way if you're towing a trailer you have more visibility that way and also the factory brake controller that's located in the center control stack as well which when in use displays on the screen that's directly in front of you in the gate cluster all right covered all the options and features and whatnot time to go ahead and tell you what i think about this truck i think i paid a little bit more than what it's worth obviously being the year 2020 where times are hard for dealerships and shortages and all that stuff wasn't very wasn't really a smart decision but six months later in the year they're still marking new and used vehicles prices up so but i needed the practicality since I was already handling the payments for the chargers, why not go ahead and get more practicality for pretty much the same amount of money. As far as problems I've had with the truck, really only one sort of kind of main issue. It happened with the key fob. The key stopped working. It would unlock and lock the truck. One of the keys would unlock and lock the truck, but it wouldn't start the ignition. The screen uh, right in the gauge cluster would just turn like a light gray color, but it wouldn't start the ignition. So I went back inside and got the spare key and that key worked. It started the ignition. Uh, it was working just fine so the next day i took it to a random dodge dealership and they went ahead and um, took care of that key replacement for me obviously under warranty because at the time the truck only had six thousand miles and there was no way i was paying out of pocket just for a key so they went ahead and fixed that for me and that was pretty much the only issue other than a few little weird sounds here and there since there is a lot of plastic inside the vehicle does tend to have a lot of rattles and cracks sometimes you know noises that will start to occur once the vehicle gets a little bit of wear and miles in and you know road wear you know nothing is ever going to stay as tight as it possibly can so that's pretty much the only problems i've had out of the vehicle so far so i'm pretty impressed with it i'm enjoying the classicality of this truck no pun intended but the durability of this truck is just a plus for me like the interior is kind of basic other than the two really nice screens it's kind of basic you do have your plastic door panels but one of my favorite features about this truck is the vinyl flooring i wish they would offer this in more vehicles i know it's more of a durability type you know work vehicle thing but i would love it if they would offer this in more vehicles because vinyl flooring is so much easier to clean than carpet and there's no odors trapped inside and things like that vinyl flooring is just so much better you can shine it make it look better it saves you the headaches and all the hassle don't get me wrong i love ford but i've driven a 2021 like mid trim level f-150 and the amount of complexity and you know automatic features that are in that truck like the lane keep assist and the auto stop start it's cool sometimes but it's kind of annoying having to turn those features off every time you turn on the engine sometimes you just want to have that old school driving vibe because you don't want all that automatic lane keep assist and you know the auto hold and the start stop and all that good stuff 600 plus miles of range and the rotary shifter pretty cool truck i feel like it's worth the money so far so i hope you guys enjoyed this video and uh and that's it